Hello everyone, Let's Dragon here. And <clears throat> yes, that is a Black Gate Dreadnought. <laughs> Playing some Rebel Galaxy while I wanted to talk about No Man's Sky and the inevitable delay. Everyone's heard about it by now, but I just wanted to add my two cents. Now, when a game gets delayed, everyone loses their freaking mind. <laughs> because I, I, I understand. I do. I get it. You have your mind set. This game is coming out on this day. You get super excited. And then it's like mommy and daddy just took away that present at Christmas and said, Nope. You're going to have to wait till next year to get this. And then you're just you're shattered. Your mind's just... <laughs> but see, the trick is not getting too attached to a specific date because like everything else in life, nothing is set in stone. So be flexible. At least that's my motto to life. Be flexible because stuff changes all the time. You should just come to it, expect stuff changing. So that being said, uh, I am not deterred in my anticipation for this game to come out. Um, as a matter of fact, it's even heightened my awareness for the game. Uh, you know, being super alert with all the, the Twitter updates and, you know, the YouTube feeds about No Man's Sky. I'm... I'm always searching for new information on what's going on, and when the rumors started floating around like, oh, No Man's Sky is going to be delayed, No Man's Sky is going to be delayed, uh, over the, you know, the Memorial Day weekend, I'm sitting there thinking, no, come on, these are just rumors, and you know, the thing about rumors is you should never think that a rumor is true, ever, uh, you know, in the Navy, we have a saying called, loose lips sink ships. And basically, it's, you know, people talking about stuff that they shouldn't be talking about. And unless you have solid facts, it, it's not going to end well. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Uh, the community was in an uproar. And yes, it did end up being delayed. Uh, which obviously didn't help the situation at all. But unless it comes out from the, you know, the people that make the game themselves, you shouldn't spread information um, <laughs> just willy-nilly because it's going to upset a lot of people. Um, but <clears throat> regardless, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to put out more videos. Uh, I got a family, so it's hard for me to, you know, find time to sit down and record any kind of video. You know, I got two little kids, they're loud and, well, you know, kids, so there's that. Um, but yeah, No Man's Sky. Cannot wait for it to come out. And it's actually funny because August is around the time frame of my birthday, <laughs> so it's just funny that it delayed right around that time, so happy birthday to me, I get to play No Man's Sky, right? Yeah, how about them apples? So there's always a silver lining to life. Um, and I, I am all the more behind Hello Games for delaying their game. And I know it's been talked about before, but the reason is... When a gaming company says, you know what, our game is not finished. Let's take the time to polish it up and finish this game before we give it to the players. And we're going to take that media heat for doing so now rather than later when... You know, it's gonna 
come back on us as being, you know, putting out a game that's not finished. You know, if they put out this game now, and there are so many bugs, like, oh, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a bug in there that you lose your ship, you lose all your stuff, and you have to start all over again because the game reset. I don't know. You know, something crazy like that. What if that happened to you when the game came out, you know, June 21st? You'd be upset. You'd be more upset at Hello Games for giving you a game that's not even close to being finished. Yeah, you're a little upset now because it got delayed, but now that it's delayed, they get that time to fix those bugs, to, you know, polish up the game. So when you do get the game, you're not getting a broken game. Unlike, you know, other games, you know, that I may or may not mention, uh, Call of Duty, um, that came out on time and had, like, you know, day one patches and, and had to fix themselves, you know, the day after they come out, you know, Destiny, um, <laughs> that have to, you know, give you that, that DLC later down the road to patch their game, to fix their game, because they gave you a broken game and still made you pay that $60 to begin with, not to mention the extra money you may have put out towards getting that extra DLC and whatnot. And it's a sad it's a sad thing to see companies do that to you. Uh you know, it's it's all marketing ploys. It's it, no there's no really nothing we can do about it other than like boycott gaming forever, but that's never going to happen because we're gamers. <laughs> you know. Uh so just don't uh, don't put it against Hello Games. Don't don't be angry at them. Be understanding that they're doing this for us. They're not doing it so that they can make a few bucks. They're doing it so that when they give you that game, they're giving you a finished product. You know, would you? Um. You know, if you if you went to the store right now, and let's say you wanted to buy, I don't know, a TV, and that company, that TV company, says this TV just came out, you know, it's brand new, but you're, you know, you'll have to come back because we can't give you the cables uh, until you know next month because the cables aren't out yet. You know that's that's BS. You know you should you should get everything right then and there for your TV. It's the same concept. So Hello Games is like doing the best thing they can for us, the community, for the you know for everybody who loves this game and it hasn't even come out yet. Um, and I can't wait to see you know what people put on their YouTube channels, you know, I can't wait to see all the planets that people show up on and all the creatures and all the NPCs and all the space battles and I it's going to be an amazing experience. It's going to be amazing to see people come together over this game uh just because it is so massive. So, um yeah, I hope to see you guys out there. And I hope that more people watch my videos. I know I don't have very many right now, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. So, hopefully uh, my YouTube channel makes it up there somewhere. If you see it, cool. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you when uh, No Man's Sky comes out. I'll post more videos if new more news comes out and whatnot. Uh, shout out to Cobra TV for all their news that they put out. So, thanks for everything, guys. Lich Dragon, out.